Hello, I'm Mark Marshall, PGA Master Professional at Lake Monticello's Golf Course. This video is part of a series on how to improve your golf game by practicing with purpose. Practicing with purpose is simply an outline, framework, structured practice time, as opposed to just coming practicing randomly with no structure or framework at all. There are three parts to a practice with purpose session. Maintenance is the first part, followed by skill build and consequence. There are three session types for practice with purpose. One on putting, one on the short game, and one on the full swing. Now this video is going to be covering your skill building time for your short game. And by short game I'm talking about the area just off of the green. There's two main challenges that a golfer must overcome in, in a short game shot, or in any shot for that matter. One is contact, and then the other one is distance control. So on this, on this shot, we're going to first talk about contact. So we've already spent our maintenance time taking care of our fundamentals. So we've gotten our proper hold, foot position, shaft lean, and aim. And I want to talk about how to get the club to bottom out at the ball. Most times, golfers who tend to hit the ground before the ball take the club back on a shallow path back behind their body. So I want you to practice with an object to influence how you take the club away. Now I'm using a cone today for a visual on the camera, but you can also use a sports drink or a water bottle. And how you're going to do that is you're going to place the cone just to the inside of your driveway marker that's pointed at your target. And you're going to place a ball just a couple inches on the outside of your driveway marker. And the purpose of this cone is to keep the club traveling back along the target line, keeping the club head outside the line of the hands, as opposed to having the club head inside the line of the hands. If the club head gets back to the inside of the hands, the club will typically bottom out before it gets to the ball. You'll hit the ground before you'll hit the ball. The other thing that the golfer can do was covered in the skill build time of the full swing, and that exercise is trail heel up. So we can combine these two exercises to help you with contact. So we can, we can position ourselves within our practice station and lift the trail heel up and make our swings keeping this trail heel up the entire time while missing the cone. And that will really help, help with your contact. So now let's move to distance control. As you can see, I've got three hula hoops out there. Uh, you don't have to use hula hoops. You can use golf towels, buckets, anything for an object to help you with distance control. So distance control is direct, directly related to the length of your swing. When you swing your short game shot, you want to make sure that the length of your backswing and the length of your follow through are equal to each other. When you spend your skill build time for distance control, you're going to work three balls to each distance, each object. And so you're going to follow a routine for this distance control time. You're first going to picture the shot or visualize the shot to the target that you're going to play for. You're going to make a rehearsal swing at the length you think you need in order to fly the ball into that area. You're going to move and execute, and then you're going to evaluate. Do I need to make my swing longer? Do I need to make my swing shorter in order to get the ball to fly in to the targeted area? So I would recommend that you either work on contact or distance control during your 15 minutes of skill build time. Contact is going to be most important. If you can't contact the ball consistently, then the distance control is, just, is not going to happen. This has been Mark Marshall coming to you from Lake Monticello's Golf Course. Stay tuned for more videos on how to practice with purpose.